prepared to launch this report and its perspectives on constitutional change. On, and we concentrated on finance and economics uh, for this paper. And it, what's unique about it is it's cross-government. So it's, it's all parties and none who have contributed to this. And I want to thank all of the witnesses who contributed to it. But what comes out of it is the economic success of a future United Ireland is in our own hands and that there is no unsurmountable uh, barriers to Irish unification. Uh, what we're recommending is a dedicated Oireachtas committee uh, for Irish reunification, a dedicated uh, department that's uh, going to be responsible for this, and a green paper on Irish unity. But we've also you know, discussed the importance of having everybody's voice heard uh, in this, and that includes unionists, loyalists, right across the board, and also our new communities, that everybody has a say in what uh, our vision for, for or a united Ireland and an agreed Ireland, an Ireland where everybody has their say. We're very unique in this generation is that we have an opportunity to do that. So I want to invite everybody to be part of this uh, conversation. We will continue on with these reports of women in the constitution, what an all-island health service would look like, what an all-island education system would look like. Climate change obviously is a huge, uh, a huge issue for us. So I invite people to be part of that conversation.